Hey, what's up guys? My name is Chad from Soul Fitness and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do a handstand. Handstands can be very taxing on the shoulders and wrists. So before we begin our first handstand, we will first start with some arm swings as well as wrist rotations in order to better prepare ourselves for the handstand exercise we're about to perform. Now before we start our handstand, let's get a better idea of what balance is. When you're on your feet, you use your heels to stop you from falling backwards, and when you're about to fall forward, you use your toes. When we're in a handstand, we're going to apply the same concept to our hands. When we're going to fall over, we're going to use our fingertips, and when we fall back, we're going to use the heels of our hands. Now there's many different ways that you can get into a handstand. You can kick up, you can do a bent arm press, you can also do a press handstand with straight arms. Now these are very advanced techniques and there's a couple exercises that you can do to learn that, but I do highly suggest you understand what your balance feels like before you attempt any of these handstands by doing the exercises I'm about to show. Okay, so the exercise that we're gonna utilize is what I like to call a spider handstand. You're gonna find a wall, walk up the wall as so, then from there, try to establish your handstand, and then lift one foot off the wall at a time, trying to establish your balance. Then from there, take the second foot off the wall, and you should be able to balance just for a few seconds at a time. Remember to use your fingertips to help yourself from falling over. And one of the main reasons I like teaching this form of handstand is because it teaches us not to grow dependent on the wall in terms of when we start to learning kick up handstands. And it's also a good way to learn how to cartwheel out of handstands as well as a roll out of handstands, which I'll show you in a second. Also keep in mind, you don't have to be as close to the wall as I was. If you're a little bit more of a beginner or a little bit more scared of falling or having trouble keeping your balance, you can also start with your hands a little bit further from the wall with the ultimate goal of getting your hands as close to the wall as possible, but still following the steps of trying to take one foot off the wall at a time. Now what's really important is how to get out of these handstands. I've worked with many people and one of the main things that they're scared of is how do I fall out of this handstand? They literally feel like they're gonna die. So one, the number one way that you wanna get out is by doing a cartwheel like I showed before, which you're just gonna drop one leg to the side and then follow suit. The roll is a little bit tougher, but if you follow the technique of dropping one arm and then tucking your head to the side, you should roll pretty efficiently. Okay, this is just from my perspective, but I generally don't like to teach kick up handstands. The number one reason why is that typically when I teach a kick up handstand, usually people get very scared and they bend their arms. When they bend their arms, it is very hard to hold that handstand position if you can't do a handstand push up or lack adequate tricep strength. And usually people fall as I showed here, which is actually kind of fun to demonstrate. All right guys, and that's my approach at getting into handstands. If you guys found that really helpful, please like, subscribe um, down below. Also, I'll be including a link in the description how you can get this awesome Vegito Super Saiyan God shirt if you guys are into anime. Until next time, guys, I'll be posting videos about once a week to help you guys get better at handstands and other calisthenic skills. Until next time, guys.